Hey everyone, I'm Joshua Oro of the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oral Reports. You know, when it comes to the Martin Luther King weekend, most folks think of it as a time to remember a man who had a dream of uniting colored folks. However, to me, Martin Luther King Day is not only that. I see it as a time for hope, miracles, and of course, thinking about people that you love. And speaking of which, thanks to a request from my friend and former drama teacher, Don Doherty, today, we're going to look into a biography movie that takes place in Lake St. Louis, Missouri, about five years ago. Released on April 17th, 2019, the movie is Breakthrough. So, let's get started. In this film, tragedy strikes when Joyce Smith's adopted son, John, falls into the ice on a frozen lake in Missouri. Trapped underwater for more than 15 minutes, rescuers bring John back to the surface and rush him to the nearest hospital. While doctors fear the worst, the 14-year-old boy continues to fight for his life as Joyce, along with her husband and their pastor, stay by his bedside and pray for a miracle. So, what do I think about this movie? Well, like Miracles from Heaven, this movie is really emotional and it does give me tears of joy and a warm feeling. So, yeah, I really enjoy it. But to further explain why, let's move on to Mustang Notes. The movie was directed by Roxanne Dawson and written by Grant Neoport. It is based on the Christian book known as The Impossible. An account of true events written by Joyce Smith with Ginger Kolbaba. Producer Devon Franklin helped the Smith family find a literary agent and then develop the book into a movie after it was published. The movie was shot in Manitoba in Canada from, from March to May 2018. Locations for the 31-day shoot included Winnipeg, Selkirk, and Port La Prairie. Also to note, this movie was released in America by 20th Century Fox one month after its acquisition by the Walt Disney Company. Also, while its opening Easter weekend wasn't very successful, the movie still made a financial success at the box office, grossing about $50.4 million out of its $14 million budget. Now that's pretty awesome. Now, to be perfectly honest, guys, as I stated earlier, I find this movie to be pretty similar to Miracles from Heaven. I mean, think about it. It's based on an emotional biography story written by the main character's mom. It involves miracles, prayers, and a little bit of religion, and it includes a tragic accident, and so on and so forth. However, I do like this movie's setting in Lake St. Louis in Missouri, and I also like the basketball game scenes and the church scenes, despite the fact that I regrettably don't go to church as often as I used to anymore. And I like the scene where all of John's friends come together to pray for his recovery. Plus, the scene where John falls into the lake makes me really scared, and it did make me think of other characters who fell into a frozen lake, like Belle and Balto. Also to note, due to my fear of medicals, the hospital scenes in this movie really give me the creeps, when the doctors use their tools like defibrillators, IVs, and syringes to help make sure that John has a pulse. Anyway, 
Now that I got Mustang notes out of the way, let's move on to the actors. The main character, John Smith, is played by Marcel Ruiz, who got to be in the Netflix series One Day at a Time. John is a 14-year-old Guatemalan kid who was adopted by Joyce and Brian when he was about 9 months old. In my opinion, while John is a great basketball player, I think he can sometimes be pretty stubborn. Plus, the scene where he fell into the lake was really bad timing due to John trying to reply to his mom via text message. However, I think he was very lucky to have survived after being underwater for over 15 minutes. John's adoptive mom and the author of the story, Joyce Smith, is played by Chrissy Metz, who got to be in the NBC series, This Is Us. Now, unlike Christy Bean, who was this close to giving up on God, Joyce is the kind of person who never gives up, and she's really optimistic, believing that God will help her son get out of his coma. Plus, I do like the parts where Joyce thinks back to times when John was very little. Next is Pastor Jason Noble, played by Topher Grace who got to be in the 2011 Valentine's Day movie and Sam Raimi's Spider-Man 3. Jason is the local pastor who transferred from California and he tries to connect with the youth. In my opinion, while Joyce and Jason didn't really like each other at first due to him and his staff crashing in on Joyce's club, I think Jason is a skilled pastor, and his sermons are very inspirational. Plus, I like when he comes to the hospital to watch over John as he recovers. Kind of like a shepherd watching over an injured lamb. Another character to talk about is Tommy Shine, played by Mike Coulter whom was in Men in Black 3 and Zero Dark Thirty. This guy is a first responder who, for some reason, had a moment with God to save John. In my eyes, I think Tommy is a brave fireman, and while he doesn't have that many scenes, I found it very mysterious when Tommy heard someone tell him to go back while looking for John in the water. Also, I like the scene where John thanks Tommy for saving his life. Other actors in the movie include Josh Lucas as John's dad, Brian, Maddie Martin as John's love interest, Abby, Dennis Haysbert as Dr. Garrett, Chuck Shimada as the fire chief, and Nancy Sorrell as the family history teacher, Mrs. Abbott. And now, let's move on to my final words. Overall, Breakthrough is another biography movie that is definitely worth watching. It has a really tear-jerking and emotional story, though a little similar to Miracles from Heaven. The script is well written. The setting in Missouri is pretty good. The acting is well done. And the music by Marcelo Zarbos makes me cry in happiness. If you ever get a chance to watch this movie, be sure to pick it up or rent it from Netflix and watch it with your family. And be sure to have a tissue box ready with you. I give this movie a 91% out of 100. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to join me for my next blog, where we look into something mouse-related for the Lunar New Year. 
Mustang Power. Oh, and have a wonderful Martin Luther King weekend.